With Kawhi Leonard's departure to the LA Clippers, there were many question marks about the Raptors' ability to continue with their winning ways. As of the shutdown, the Raptors are sitting in second place in the Eastern Conference. In today's film, we'll be doing a deep dive into the Raptors' league-leading transition attack, focusing on how they've been able to manage to sustain their success. Turning defense into offense, the Raptors are second in the league in forcing turnovers and they're quick to convert these into scoring opportunities. They do a great job utilizing their length and activity to get into the passing lanes. Pascal Siakam gets his hands on it, gets it back for the breakaway finish. With the league's second best defense, they're able to force opponents into difficult shots. They then convert these into leak outs and fast break baskets. As soon as the rebound secured, Serge Ibaka sees an opportunity, an open lane ahead. Kyle Lowry locates him for the pass ahead. Pushing the ball and finding the open teammates are staples of their attack. If someone is ahead, they will find him. Norman Powell is the beneficiary in this case. Good transition teams will score off of misses and force turnovers. What makes the Raptors transition attack rare and elite is their ability to push the tempo off a of made basket. As soon as the ball goes through the hoop, everyone knows their lanes and gets out. Kyle Lowry gets the outlet, keeps his head up, sees he has two options on the wings, locates Norman Powell and passes it ahead. Similar scenario here on a make. Kyle Lowry signaling for the outlet, Hollis Jefferson gets out on the right wing behind the defense as Jokic is jogging back and he's able to finish the play with an easy basket at the rim. The unique way the Raptors are able to distort transition defenses is by having their bigs run to the perimeter as opposed to the rim. Rudy Gobert is matched up with Ibaka, can't go into the paint and utilize his shot blocking ability. He has to stay on the perimeter which forces Joe Ingles to become the next level of defense. This gives Hollis Jefferson a more favorable matchup inside. Quick inbounds off a of make. Utah Jazz are sprinting back in transition, but the Raptors are running their lanes wide. Once again, the big is trailing the play, which means Rudy Gobert has to stay on the perimeter. There's uncertainty about who's picking up the ball, and Kyle Lowry is able to utilize this opportunity to get to the rim for the tough physical finish. Great vertical contest here by Terrence Davis. The Raptors are able to turn this into a numbers advantage. Four Raptors are sprinting the wings wide, which gives Pascal Siakam a lane down the middle to attack. He's able to draw four Denver Nuggets defenders, which gives him four outlets on the perimeter. And the Raptors are able to turn this into a wide open three opportunity. Digging a little bit deeper in personnel, we see Kyle Lowry's preference to pull quick threes in transition. If teams are certain about who's picking up the ball, he's not shy or hesitant to let it fly from outside. Similar scenario here, Lowry comes up with the rebound, two Golden State Warriors are a little bit slow to pick up, he takes advantage. Teams know Kyle Lowry's preference for early threes, so they push up on him early, but he's able to use this against them to get to the rim. The Raptors have great spacing on the perimeter, which takes away rim help. Kyle Lowry uses a little hesitation move and gets to the rim uncontested. The Raptors don't seem too preoccupied with who's inbounding the ball. Kyle Lowry gets it in and gets it back and is able to find Siakam on the right wing for the pass ahead. Great spacing by the Raptors to force four defenders on the weak side to be outside of the paint. This allows Siakam to get to the rim with late help and a finish going to a spin. Another great vertical contest by Siakam this time. The Raptors are able to turn defense into offense. DeAndre Ayton pauses for a split second and this gives Raptors even a bigger numbers advantage running the lanes wide and fast. This gives Siakam downhill daylight to put on a Euro step and get to the rim for a finish. Now let's spend a little bit of time looking at how teams have been able to neutralize their attack. Miami Heat do a great job here of pointing, communicating, making sure that everybody is matched up. This way they can load their defense and make sure that the Raptors don't have a numbers advantage. 
the OKC Thunder have the league's best defensive transition team. They do a great job of sending four defenders back on the shot and only one to the glass. This gives them four defenders to get behind the ball and set their defense up. Lugansdor does a great job of moving his feet and absorbing the drive by Van Vliet. And this becomes a mid ball screen that the OKC Thunder are able to swallow up and turn into a transition attack going the other way for them. A quick shot here by the Miami Heat. However, they have four guys getting back. They're pointing, they're matching up, and Jimmy Butler does a great job anticipating the pass ahead and picks it off. Shot quality is a crucial aspect of transition defense. In this case, it allows the Miami Heat to be balanced. They're able to put four guys behind the ball, two on the ball, absorb a drive, keep it out of the paint, force the Raptors to kick it out and get back into a half court set. A great way the Miami Heat slowed the Raptors down was by jamming up Kyle Lowry and taking away a quick pass. You see Jimmy Butler is denying him in the entry, buying his teammates enough time and this becomes another half court possession that the Miami Heat are able to switch and now it's mid clock situation for the Raptors. OKC Thunder only sent one to the glass, but in this case, Steven Adams does a great job of putting a lot of pressure on the Raptors defense to have to box him out. And this slows the Raptors attack down. OKC Thunder are able to match up and take away a numbers advantage. The best way of slowing down the transition attacking team is forcing them to have to defend on their end. OKC Thunder put the ball on the deck. Shea Gilgis Alexander draws contact, gets to the foul line. Free throws essentially become dead ball situations, and even on misses, defenses are able to get back and get set. An aspect that doesn't show up in the box score is effort and hustle. Just watch Bam Adebayo here on this possession. He's pointing to matchups, he's looking at where his man is, he stays in the play, and is able to take away a rim finish on the other end. Similarly, Nerlens Noel is in the corner. He's to go get crashing the glass. Doesn't have a chance to get it, but doesn't stop. He keeps his head down, sprints, stays in the play to the very end, and is able to take away a rim finish as well. Even though teams have had some success in slowing the Raptors down over long stretches, it's become very difficult. The Raptors do a great job of pushing the tempo, sharing the ball, and getting out in transition. Thanks for joining Edu Basketball for another video session. Click subscribe to join us next time. We look forward to seeing you again.